What album is that that's playing in the background? The Berserker. Gotta look forward to it. Sounds awesome. Alright. Now, see you guys first. Eeny, meeny, miny, ah, what the heck. This is just high roll. 8, 10, 12, 13, 19, 21, 24, 30. Alright. That's okay. We can live with that. Eight, thirteen, fourteen, twenty-three, twenty-eight, thirty-two. You got me. All right. All right. Nine dice. Okay. So three and a half times nine. That gives you. Let's see. Thirty-one and a half is the average. All right. Oh, cute. Likewise. Go underground. Okay. One, two, preordain. Preordain's good. Uh oh. <laughs> All right. I mean. Yeah, sure, I'll draw this one. All right. Go. Cool. Draw. <laughs> that, that look. Folks, that look. All right, so we're going to draw two. Discard three. Actually, I could have had some much better hits, unfortunately. This, uh... This didn't look super good. Yeah, no, this this didn't go as well as I would have hoped. But we're going to get Cabal Therapy, Double Deck, More Salvage. We're going to say Pass Turn. Okay. I'm going to draw. Hermit Druid. Okay. Good. It could just be dead next turn. Deck more salvage. Fate Stisher Bazaar. Mmm. That's not looking great for T1 over here. Whale. Whale. Ooh, you know what? No, we need to do this first. Even though we don't have much in the yard, we need to do this first. Bazaar. Dredge two. Mm -hmm. There you are. Dredge five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we hit Golgari Thug, a bridge, Sun Titan, Cabal Therapy, and Blood Gas. I would like for the card to just be called a bridge. Hey, stuff happened. Stuff happened that time. And then I have to discard three. So, we're gonna do... You... You... Um... What are the odds? No, we're, we're fine, we're fine. And eeny, meeny, miny... I think I'm supposed to do you. Okay. Cool. All that's gonna happen. Uh, mana Confluence, Blood Gas Triggers. I told you I'm on my BS right now. There is a Fate Stitcher in the yard, so there is not a Fate Stitcher in the yard anymore. It's being unearthed. We're gonna untap Bizarre Baghdad. We're gonna do it again! Yay! Alright, so here goes nothing. There you goes. There you went, Stinkweed Imp. Alright. Went to the hand, so. Golgari Grave Troll. Two, three. Hey. Four, five. And then Grave Troll. Something like this. That's a mess, but oh well. 
one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so I got a little ahead of myself. Bridge count right now is two. There is a dread return, which I'm going to leave on top. I imagine that might come in handy in a bit, just maybe. If I, th if I know this deck, and then discard three, so we're going to discard... I'm going to say, do we have another uh, bazaar? We do, we have another bazaar in the yard. Okay, so we're going to do these three. I think that that's okay. Just right now, I can dredge you all away, which is what I'm going to do. So, dread, wait, wait a minute. Remove it from the game at the end of turn or if it would leave play. So, if I remove the Fate Stitcher, I won't get any tokens from uh, Bridge from Below. That's unfortunate. So, instead, we're going to remove these three. Bridge count again is two. One, two. So, we're going to get six Zambonis. Uh, you're, you're gone, bud. Um, for Dread Return, there's six Zambonis here. This is a very technical magic term. Uh, Dread Return is going to get back... Uh, yeah, we're, we're just going to... We're not going to get cute. We're just going to do Flamekin Zealot. Everybody gets plus one, plus one in haste, and I'm going to swing at you for 21, so you have to block with a Hermit Druid. I'm actually worried if I bring the Sun Titan back, and go get Bizarre, and then keep going, that I'm actually going to whiff. I won't get another Dread Return. <laughs> so, yeah, just block one of them, yeah. go to two, and then pass turn. Oh, and because that died, trigger the Bridge from Below. Bridge from Belows are all exiled. Yep. <sighs> That's what this deck does. To be fair, though, it preys on blue decks. You know, I needed to cast exactly one spell that entire game. And even if I didn't, if it didn't resolve, I still get six zombies. So it's it's meant to prey on blue decks. To what I was saying earlier, the prized Selesnia version of the Sisse deck takes out the blue cards and adds in more Machaeus, because you can cast it for one mana mm -hmm. uh, to untap the rest of your stuff. It adds in Nissa Vastwood Seeker, just as a one-of. It adds Kithian, just as a, a one-of. Gives you an, an alternate plan. Beats. There aren't, I mean, there's Wrath of God and Damnation. Those are the, the two Wraths in the format. Um, let's see. And it's just another Planeswalker, kind of. It's a savannah lion that turns into a planeswalker. I'm keeping. We're gonna try it. Man, the luck is real with this one. So, when I say luck, I just mean this. That, uh, spoiler alert, if I'm keeping the hand, it obviously has bizarre in it. I don't, I don't think I'm really spoiling much by saying that. Um... And there's only a, about a 40% chance of it being in the opening hand, 39.6. So for it to happen twice, let's round. Let's say that's 2 and 5 each time. <laughs> that's 4 and 25. That's less than a 20% chance for it to happen both games in the opening hand. Not counting serum powder. Sure. All right. Okay. True. Woo! Sapphire. Hermit Druid, go! Emerald. Yep. Black Lotus. Oh my god. Just, just the do hell it. Of it. I'm gonna cast an Arkham Eagle. Oh, okay. Fun times. And I'll spill off. That seems okay. That seems pretty good. Spell bomb is is a card. <laughs> All right, bizarre Baghdad. Draw a two. Ah, Nile spell bomb. Why? Why must you do this to me? Whale. How about we get rid of? 
I want to... Hmm... Man, you aren't making this easy. No, you are not. I like all of you, so... We're gonna say... Serum Powder, Blood Gas, Golgari, Grave Troll. Free cast hollow one. Mm -hmm. Alright, and um, pass turn. So that's supposed to be a three color deck, and I see two colors and a black lotus. Hermit Druid, right on time. It resolves. Good. All right. I would like to draw. Mm -hmm. I'd like to. Okay, we'll do the draw replacing. All right. So Kugari Grave Troll time. One, two. Dark Depths, Icarid, Dakmore Salvage, Kugari Grave Troll, Kugari Grave Troll, Bizarre Baghdad. Cool. Urborg, Landfall Trigger. Resolves? Mm -hmm. Combat! Sure. Hit you for four, gets jumped. Fair enough. I mean, what am I supposed to do? Bizarre? Mm hmm. Gokari Grave Troll. I'm gonna put this in my hand. One, two, you need, oh, we have to finish this first. The trig it triggers, but the trigger doesn't go on the stack yet. All right, five, six. So, uh, well, actually, it still hasn't finished resolving, because this is the same ability, but whatever. We'll get there. You know what? I'm not going to live another turn anyway, so unless I really can go off through a Nile Spellbomb, uh, replace the other with a Golgari Grave Troll. Mm -hmm. One... Two, three, four, five, six. You. Yep. All right. Discard time. Um. Bridge double grave troll. Yep. There were no bridges in at the time, so Narcobiba hits. <laughs> I'm not living anyway, so we're just going to do that. And, um... You have how many cards in hand? None. Yeah, never mind. That's That sucks. That really sucks. Alright, pass turn. Well, you don't have any cards in hand, so... No, no, no! Activate it on upkeep. No, 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 wait, you know, you need, no, 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 that's wrong, that's wrong. You need the Laboratory Maniac, mm -hmm. and you don't have it yet. Um, so, you, now that you're in your main phase, you Mox Emerald, tap it, activate it, you have no basics in your deck. Mm -hmm. Okay. And now, you're going to mill your deck, hit some Narc Amoebas. Here's the Laboratory Maniac, we're going to get to you in a moment. Here's Cabal Therapy, but it doesn't really matter for this matchup. You can do it just in case if you have enough creatures, which I guess you do. So I'm playing this out because he picked up the deck and uh, and just ran with it. So there's Narc Amoeba. There's Narc Amoeba. So we got the whole squad. And somewhere in here, I passed over you when I was looking for Narcs. Context. Uh, there's Dread Return. So you Cabal Therapy, Sack the Hermit Druid, name whatever. Uh, force of Will, usually. So, no Force of Will. You can probably guess that, though. Mm -hmm. Then you sack the other three for Dread Return to get back Laboratory Maniac. And now, you just need to survive another turn. And there's a Preordain. Now, that was your draw, actually. So, yeah, yeah, you got it. That's game. Game three. We're gonna call it at this. <laughs> Alright. Here we go. Here we go. Let's see if I can do the three-peat. Hit Bizarre Baghdad in hand three times in a row. 
in the opening hand. Now that I've said that, though, uh, I would like to be on the... I think it's right for me to be on the play. I think that's right. That's what I'm going for. Alright, here goes nothing. Same. Are we doing the free seven or... No, no, let's not, because I'm playing dredge. So it really, really benefits this deck if I can keep going back to seven each time. So let's just do six. It's a casual non-tournament game, so any other time, fine, but when one of us is on dredge... Mm, probably not. Probably not. Alright. There we go. Same, I'm afraid. Pass it away. Ah, oh, that's a shame. That's a shame. It wasn't on top, but something else was that was would have been neat. Eh, what can you do? Feel like keeping? Mm -hmm. Okay. On to five. This is a deck that will mull to one if it needs to. That that match between us is going to be legendary. The dredge decks both mull to one and neither one finds it. It's just a... <laughs> uh, I don't know. Legendary in the sense that someone beating their head against a wall until it actually breaks <laughs> is legendary. <laughs> uh, serum powder. Yep. One, two, three, four, five. Um, I'll keep... <laughs> Hello. Cool. I will go Bizarre Baghdad, immediately tap it. Gee, I wonder what I'm going to. So one, two. I'm going to drop. Go Gari Grave Troll Bridge from below. Pass turn. Actually, while I'm at it, let me see what I exile. Uh, Flamkin Zealot's gone. Buddy. Buddy. Delta Jet. Delta Jet, okay. Uh-oh. I feel a druid might be on its way. What are the odds? <laughs> Decent. Like 40%. And of course, there it is. Well now. This is this is pretty good. Let's see. We got to do it this turn without a flamekin zealot, which means I don't have a source of haste. I only have the one haste giver. I, I'm not actually aware of any dredge deck that has more than the one. Either flamekin zealot or dragon lord Coldagon. Okay. Well, we are not gonna be doing it, but oh well. Let's see. So, Bizarre, one, two, oh, sorry, getting ahead of myself, Stinkweed, yep, mm -hmm. one, two, three, four, five, Stinkweed, up again, one, two, three, four, five, you see how I, how I sideboarded, this is nice. Not there, but it's nice. Alright. Grave Troll and Double Stinkweed Imp are going back in the yard. And because it doesn't matter, at this point, it just doesn't matter. I'm going to say... Wait, actually, did I... I don't... I didn't hit any blood gas. Ah, oh, whatever. We'll do it anyway. Undiscovered Paradise, past turn. Okay. Fetch away. 
<clears throat> yeah, that's a that's a neat deck to just pick up. <laughs> it's not the easiest one, to be sure. It can win off the combo, and lo and behold, you're going to win off the combo again. But it also has the Leovold mid-range plan in the deck as well. Which, it works. Leovold, Planeswalkers, that sort of thing. All right, mill the whole deck. You mill till you hit a basic. Spoiler alert, you have no basics. So we're going to hit our Narc Amoebas again, all four of them, presumably. Do you have any in your hand? Mm -hmm. All right, there we go. So if you'd like to, I mean, obviously I don't have Force of Will. If I did, I would have used it before. But you can Cabal Therapy, take a look at my hand. You actually have enough creatures, you can Cabal Therapy me twice. So you can Therapy, take a look, just name whatever. And then the second time, if I did have something, you could use the other Cabal Therapy and take whatever problem card I had. So like if I had a Mind Break Trap or something. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and then here you get Dread Return into Laboratory Maniac, and then do you have any Cantrip? Actually, it doesn't matter. You don't need a cantrip. You have uh, two mana and deep analysis. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, there's Brainstorm, and you got me. You got me. So deep analysis is fun because even if somehow you don't have one in your hand, as long as you have two open mana, here it is, deep analysis. Flashback is one blue, pay three life, and then just draw two cards. Mm -hmm. So no matter what, <laughs> that, that's why that's in the deck. Yeah, and Nile Spellbomb is in there because it gives you another way to draw a card, too. So it synergizes with the game plan. As opposed to, like, Ravenous Trap is good and it's kind of a necessary evil. Sometimes you just don't have time. Mm -hmm. um, but Nile Spellbomb draws you a card as well. It's why it's over something like Tormod's Crypt. Uh, Graph Digger's Cage... Uh, it's, you can't play Graph Digger's Cage because you need to reanimate the Laboratory Maniac, which means... You have a bit of a hard time with Oath, unfortunately, since you can't bring that in. Mm -hmm. But you have other stuff. You have, like, Abrupt Decay and stuff like that to deal with the actual Oath itself, to not give him a turn. I did a huge sideboard going into this. I did a huge sideboard. So let's see. Those are all main. Uh, when I hit one, I'll let you know. That's one of them. <laughs> so it sideboards into Dark Depths Thespian Stage, which, you know, it's a... Uh, it's good if you expect a lot of graveyard hate, which, you know, you do. I actually did a 15-card sideboard. So all 15 cards came in. All 15 cards. <laughs> Riftstone Portal as well. If it hits the yard, you can make any of your lands tap for green or white. So you can make even, like, Dark Depths and Bizarre Baghdad tap for mana. So it speeds this up a little bit. Four Hollow Ones to play around graveyard hate. The Gurmog Anglers wanted to stay in a club, because of course they did, but yeah, they all they all decided not to show. Alright, let's see. Where did everybody else go? Where did everybody else go? There's another Dark Depths. There's another Thespian Stage. Hey! So if I remember correctly, there should be, I think, two more Gurmog Anglers. It should be four, four, four... No, wait a minute, it's just one more then. Maybe. Well, Whale, what's the other one? Hmm. Alright. It did only take two, yeah. Well. Oh, wait, no. I think the Petrified Field is main board. So. Four, two, ten. Yeah, there's one more. There is one more, I promise. I don't think it's the Petrified Field, but it might be. It, it's a way to get back your Bizarro Baghdad from the yard if you happen to play against, like, shops and they waste it or strip it. In the meantime, what I cited out is absolutely everything else. So I took two Narc Amoebas, uh, leaving two in the deck, two Mental Missteps, because they, do, they don't do a lot. Uh, they do something in this matchup. They deal with the Cantrips and the Ancestral Recall, but if I need cards to take out to put in all of this... That's good. That's great. And Mental Misstep does work on Nile Spellbomb, so maybe I should have brought it back in, but against, like, Ravenous Trap, it doesn't do. Actually, Graph Digger's Cage, but when you side into this, you don't care as much about Graph Digger's Cage. Uh, took out all the Sun Titans, took out all the Fate Stitchers, took out all the Cabal Therapies, and a one, one of the Undiscovered Paradises. So maybe the Petrified... Um, maybe the Petrified Field is also sideboard. 
I'll keep it out just in case. I could have sworn there was another angler, though. But maybe I'm blind. Maybe YouTube has been watching me go over it a bunch somehow. But that's the reason why I don't play traditional graveyard, anti-graveyard hate in the sideboard. It's because I just transform it into a, an entirely different deck altogether. Um, and it, it can work. It didn't work here. And admittedly, this is a lot slower. But especially if you can hit uh, Riftstone Portal in the yard, you can do Dark Depths and Thespian Stage and any other land, like a Bazaar. Um, and you finally have a way that you can keep a hand that doesn't have Bazaar. You can keep one that has Dark Depths Thespian Stage. You still would like Bazaar because it turns on Hollow One, for instance, and Gurmog Angler. Um, there you go. Ta-da!